In this week's video, we head to Shenandoah National Park to hike our first of many family-friendly trails. And we have a fun craft planned for after the hike, so stick around to the end of the video. But before we get to that, Grace and I head out on a little day trip to explore a spot we haven't been to before, while Kat rests up at home after working three night shifts in a row. Hi, buddy, buddy. Come on, down. Located west of Baltimore, Liberty Reservoir is part of the Chesapeake Bay watershed. The land was purchased from a mill company in 1954 by the city of Baltimore for use as a public water supply. When the dam was constructed, the mill town and factories were left intact and flooded to create the reservoir. Consisting of 9,200 acres, you can hike, paddle, horseback ride, and bow hunt seasonally. This is a cool place, and we will definitely come back with Kat and do some bow hunting, or I mean hiking. What did we do today so far? Yikes. Did we fly? Did we fly a helicopter? Yeah. Was it fun? Mm -hmm. Did you have fun flying the helicopter? Look at my little helper. Are you helping me, Grace? Thank you so much. Okay, Grace, here we go. Last chance, you sure you want to carry that? Yeah? Definitely deserve some lunch after this one. Look how many stairs there are. You got this. You want me to take that? Okay, I'll carry that. I'll carry that. You're gonna carry it? Carry. You want me to carry you? <laughs> okay. Well, Grace is super helpful. She's carrying the tripod, but she made me carry her. <laughs> Looking for love like a day one. I just wish I could hear it. What did the wizard say before he he rode away? Yeah, 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 yeah. With Kat caught up on her sleep and ready to get out there and explore, we set out on another adventure. Go potty? Did you go potty? Okay, hold it. Hold it, baby. Today's adventure brings us to Shenandoah National Park. On this excursion, we hiked Fox Hollow Trail, which is located across the road from Dickey Ridge Visitor Center at mile marker 4.6 near the north entrance to the park. Fox Hollow is an easy trail for kids. The path is clearly marked and there's just a little elevation change. The trail's a loop and 1.2 miles long. The trail loops around an old farm once belonging to the Fox family, which was actually seized by the government for federal protection in the 1930s. About 500 families were also forced off their land. On your hike, you'll pass old rock walls and a cemetery where members of the Fox family are buried. Ready? One, two, three, go. One foot. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! So last night, Grace, you watched Blippi, right? Yeah. And, and what did Blippi do? He collected a whole bunch of leaves, right? So yeah, Daddy. And then he colored them. Mm -hmm. Right? Do you want to collect some leaves and color them? Yeah. Let's collect some leaves so that when we get home, we can color them. Okay? like that leaf? Too dark. Too dark. Okay. Wow. Show daddy that one. Oh nice. You got two oh, now. This one. Look at this one. Say Good hi here. Grace. I'm Kai. I'm Ranger Kai. <gasps> say He's hi Ranger, Ranger Kai. See, can you say hi? Tell him how old you are. How, how old, old are you guys? Me too? You too? <gasps> wow. I just turned 26. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm a little older now. <laughs> <laughs> Have lots of fun, okay? Thank Say you bye. so much. Say bye, bye, Ranger. Bye. Bye. Bye, Ranger Kai. <laughs> that was nice. Wasn't that cool? He knew all the leaves, right? What did Ranger Kai just uh, tell us? What did he tell us these leaves are called? This one's in a poplar something, and then this one's in maybe in the alder family. The alder family and a poplar. poplar. 
Cool. Cool. That was nice, right? Yeah. Did you meet a ranger? What's that, Fluffy? No. no. <laughs> <laughs>finishing the hike and collecting lots of leaves for grace's art project we decided to head home to the makers workshop studio the park was really busy and the overlooks were packed with cars this is definitely the busiest time of year in the park but it's all good because we live close to shenandoah so we'll be back soon